the moolah. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. Let's take off, we're all ready to roll. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Wake up, Gorga, it's time to play. Come on, Captain Bula, let's welcome the day. Where's that cedar? Ready to go. Wizzy and wig on, good to go. Beakers bubbling, turning blue. Motors making something new. Way, way out where the planets do the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. See your round balls at Mission Control. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Way, way out where the planets do the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. See your round balls at Mission Control. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. It's a big, big universe out there, filled with lots of surprises, like this one. I, the amazing Wiggle, will magically transform my assistant Wizzy into something completely different. Hey, that's my toothbrush! I'll give it back, and Gorga only used it once. Ew, never mind. Wizzy will now enter the chamber of mysterious mystery. Abracadabra, abracadabra! Wizzy has changed into something new! <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 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 Nice trick, Wig. Except for that last part where everything went horribly wrong. Yeah, I guess you can't really change into something else. Well, that's not necessarily true. Some creatures can change from top to bottom. It's called metamorphosis. Metso what's a hoosis? What's that? Let's check the Multopedia. <laughs> All animals and plants go through predictable changes during their lives. That means the changes usually happen the same way every time. Some plants sprout and grow from a seed into a fully grown adult plant. Then, the adult plant produces seeds and the process starts all over again. It's called a life cycle. Insects go through life cycles too, and some insects change a lot during their life cycles. It's called metamorphosis. There are two different kinds of metamorphosis in insects, complete and incomplete. Insects whose looks change completely go through complete metamorphosis. It happens in four predictable stages, like with this silkworm moth. It starts as an egg, then the egg hatches, and out comes a larva, a worm-like creature that spends most of its time eating and growing. Then comes the pupa stage, when it makes itself a case called a cocoon. It rests in the cocoon while its body goes through its greatest change. And finally, it breaks out of the cocoon as an adult, a silkworm moth. Then the moth lays eggs, and the process starts all over again. Some other insects go through a more gradual change in how they look. We call this incomplete metamorphosis. There are only three stages during incomplete metamorphosis, like the cicada, which goes from egg to nymph, which is a young cicada without wings, to adult, complete with wings. The adult lays eggs and the cycle starts over. So I guess you could say that nature does stuff that's even better than magic tricks. Ah! Hey, a grasshopper. Please, I need your help. Who are you? My name is Skip, and my best friend in the whole world is missing. She's a worm named Wrigley. I think she's in trouble. Why do you think that? The last time I saw her, she was kind of nervous and said something was going to happen to her today. I'm afraid it's... <laughs> Something awful! Sorry, I get the hiccups when I'm upset. <laughs> Where did you last see her? In the great Zulean meadow! To the ship! This is a job for the Zula Patrol! I've been so worried, I've <laughs> developed a skin problem! See? I'm just beside myself! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Tell a 
knock knock yo skip uh skip ew i've been talking to a skin that's the second time a skin has come off i wonder why a grasshopper would do that and it looks weird it's kind of crispy and stands up by itself hey let's take photos of skip every time it happens then we can study them and figure it out and Wrigley has a long striped body and a whole bunch of feet. <laughs> Some are right by her head. Poor Wrigley. She was always kicking herself in the nose. The Great Zulayan Meadow, coming up! Last time I saw Wrigley, she was munching on those leaves up there. A worm way up there? Are you sure? Absolutely. She only eats this one kind of plant, nothing else. Hmm, interesting. Well, let's look. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh, milkweed! Well then, we'll only need to check the milkweed plants. Good! There can't be that many! <sighs> I don't believe how many milkweeds we've climbed! <sighs> Maybe we should just ask the local worms if they've seen Wrigley. Might as well start here! <laughs> Claw! <laughs> hey, what's the big idea? Sorry about that. We have an emergency. <laughs> have you seen this worm? Doesn't look like any worm I've ever seen. Maybe it's a disguise. Disguise? Oh my gosh! <laughs> she must really be in trouble! Maybe <laughs> she testified against a tarantula and now she's in the insect relocation program! You know, Maybe Wrigley is in disguise. How do we know for sure she's a worm? What else could she be? A slug in striped pajamas? Well, maybe she's some kind of larva. The kind that goes through that metso what's a -hoosis. Metamorphosis! If you're right, then by now Wrigley might already be a pupa. The stage between larva and adult. And that means we should be looking for some kind of pupa. Excellent scientific thinking. Come on, let's find Wrigley. We're coming to save you, Wrigley! Hey, he did it again, and he gets bigger every time he loses his skin. Yeah, except for his head. That's the cocoon, the kind of pupa case a moth comes out of. Careful not to touch. We don't want to hurt the pupas. Hello? Anybody in there? Go away. I'm resting. Uh, is that you, Wrigley? There's no Wrigley here. Sheesh. Can the beagle pupate in peace? Yoo-hoo! Any pupas home? Shh. My bees are trying to catch some Z's. Is that you, Skip? It came from that direction! Wrigley! We found you! Why, that's not just any pupa. That's the kind that turns into... A butterfly! Gee, she looks a lot different than she used to. Oh, my stars! It all makes sense now! Wrigley wasn't in disguise, and she wasn't a worm. She was a caterpillar, which is just a baby butterfly, a larva. Of course, a caterpillar. Sure, now I see it. Wrigley was just going through her life cycle, going from egg to larva. That's the caterpillar stage, where she spent most of her time eating and growing. Then to pupa, where she rested inside a chrysalis and did most of her changing. Then she finally came out as a butterfly. And that's called complete metamorphosis. Later, she'll lay eggs. And the whole cycle will begin again. Hit it! It's metamorphosis. I went from that to this. I was a Inside a chrysalis, a metamorphosis, and then we learn to use our brand new wings and fly. Let's have a milkweed shake beside a shiny lake, and please catch me if you can across the sky. I'm 
I'm sorry if I worried you, Skip. I was afraid you wouldn't like me anymore if you knew I was going to look so different. I'll always be your friend, no matter what you look like. Although, I do miss your feet kicking your nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh! This skin condition is driving me buggy! That's no skin condition, Skip. You've been going through your own predictable life cycle change. Look! While Wrigley was going through a complete metamorphosis, you were going through an incomplete metamorphosis. It's what grasshoppers do. You are in the nymph stage, the one that comes between the egg and the grown-up stage. They're right. And that wasn't skin coming off you. It was your exoskeleton, the part that helps hold up your body just like our skeletons do. Hey, you've grown, too. Cool wings. <laughs> Gee, I guess everybody changes. And the best thing is, I got rid of my... <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> what did I tell you? Expect surprises around every corner. Uh, wait a minute. If you know surprises are coming, they're not really surprises. Uh, uh, well, you get the idea. It's time for our Moto Moment. Do you remember what we call it when an insect changes the way it looks? Halloween! Gracious, no. It's called metamorphosis. Some insects experience complete metamorphosis, meaning they go through a really big change in how they look as they grow from baby to adult. Other insects experience incomplete metamorphosis. They go through a slighter change in how they look as they grow from baby to adult. But complete or incomplete, when insects become adults, some of them lay eggs and the whole process begins again. It's what we call their life cycle. Bye-bye for now. <laughs> <laughs>